We have a strong emphasis on um, a, a, and holistic approach to undergraduate research. We come at it a very experimental approach. It kind of pushes you to go out and learn hands-on rather than just from the textbook. I would say our program is very like hands-on and we have a small number of students and a good number of faculty that you can get a lot of hands-on time with faculty and not feel like you're kind of lost in the program. Go to the big R1 institutions and the class sizes are like 500 students in your physics class, very hard to get uh, involved or, or ask uh, you know, specific questions that you have about the material. We're taking advanced lab courses where we measure the speed of light, we can measure the photoelectric effect, which are highly technical and specialized things that we're able to do here at the university. You'll be building and designing things and they might not work in the end, but that's what you're trying to get to, the problem solving and just learning how to work through that problem. My sophomore year, one of our professors, Dr. Hill, she came to some of the students and she said that we were going to be part of the Citizen Kate experiment, which was the Continental America Telescopic Eclipse experiment. And so basically what we got to do was during the eclipse, we got to use the telescope to take pictures of the solar corona. And the pictures that we got are gonna be part of a huge movie that they're putting together about the corona during the eclipse. And we had students who were taking data. They learned all the protocol. They learned all of the programming. In fact, their names will be on the final paper that is uh, published by the National Solar Observatory. If a student comes in and is, is say, really interested in golf or baseball, uh, our faculty are going to sit and work with them to try to develop projects that might be related to golf. We're going to let you learn physics through your previous and future experiences.